Hello and welcome to the first game that I'm going to be recording for Empires Apart since the NDA has been lifted and I can actually show these videos publicly. Uh, so I'm going to be able to do a bit of my tasteless impression because there will be more newbies watching this game uh, who haven't seen Empires Apart before and uh, want to know what's it about than uh, any time that we've been doing videos before. So in the top here we have the Chinese in red played by Engine who is the uh, lead developer of the game. You may yeah, you may you've probably seen his videos Gian Paolo Vinacci or you may not have uh, depends how many non Empire Apart people see this. He streams quite weekly. Uh, he's going to be... I think he streams every Tuesday now uh, on the Slytherin official channel to advertise the game before launch. And in the bottom, playing as the Aztecs, we have Adne, who is uh, the player with the most time out of anyone in this game, probably. Um, definitely the player with the most multiplayer games. And... Uh, he is playing as the Aztecs. So, the Aztecs are quite an early game focused Civ. As you can see, he has the barracks down now and he's starting to produce warriors. And this is something that not many Civs can do. The Chinese, the French, uh, and I believe the Arabs all cannot do this. The Byzantines, the Aztecs, and the Mongols are the only uh, factions who can have a military building before they have gone up to military uh, development one. So this gives them this sort of early power. They also have something which you may see in a bit. He's going to, in a minute, drag that boar of his warrior. He's uh, microing other stuff right now, probably a scout. And you can see this little bar under his health bar. This is his XP. So like heroes in Warcraft 3 or, you know, anything in any other RPG or, or whatever you might like the warriors can gain experience and they will level up rather than having the traditional Age of Empires style champion upgrades that most games have so he's using his warriors to kill the boars along with some TC fire to keep this boar here oh engine actually stealing that boar there trying to run him away stealing boars is quite uh, annoying in Empires Apart right now because especially as uh, the Aztecs don't have a, a horseback scout they will not be able to really do anything about it but you can see these guys now have uh, a bit more xp than the other you can see they are now veteran infantry whereas this one who didn't get any is just an infantry but the other three have always leveled up these ones are almost level three the chinese and the french the chinese are more close to the french the french i think are the most sort of age of empires traditional civ and these civs have the very age of empires thing where uh you in your barracks uh, once you've leveled up enough, there'll be a button above the unit to upgrade the unit from a regular infantry to a veteran or whatever. So that's one of the sort of uniqueness of the Aztec. The other uniqueness which you might be seeing is this little guy. Right now, um, he's actually gone and killed someone, so uh, he's just a visible little guy walking around. But every night time, because there is a day-night cycle in this game, he will turn invisible. And he can stay invisible forever, there's no way of detecting him until he attacks. His first attack from invisibility does a load of damage. Uh, you can see there's another Aztec here who's leveled up. They start looking pretty cool as they get up to a high level. So this is now the Elite, which I believe is level 3. Level 1 and 2 look quite similar, but all the higher levels look a bit more. Fancy dodging some arrows there. Do you know, putting the uh, tower down to defend his wood line. You start with uh, enough stone to make a couple towers. So it's likely that he'll be putting another tower down soon to defend another uh, resource. You can also see in the bottom here, these white lines down there. I mean, Gino has uh, got both of the military and economic developments. So he's unlocked quite a lot of stuff now. That's 400 gold and 400 wood, but he hasn't uh, done much with it yet. So this is sort of a traditional... Uh, thing for the Aztecs. He's probably going to be looking there. We go. You see basic military development coming up now and he's going to be looking with this map control that he's got from having these early warriors that the other civs can't get. I mean he can't deal any damage right now because Gino is walling himself self in nicely with his villagers at the back. Has a tower to defend. Can build another tower probably over here to start getting some wood later or perhaps going for some gold. Uh, stone even. All gold. Um, 
But with this map control that these Aztec warriors have given him, he's likely going to, as soon as he gets his first uh, military development, he's going to put down a, uh, a temple and he's going to start making priests. You can see the temple of the Chinese coming down. Uh, he tried to put it there, but he's realized he's not going to be able to get that up. Uh, it's too close to the warriors, so he'll probably try putting it on the other side over here soon. There it's going down. So we're going to see both the priests coming out soon. And this is something that uh, Empire Support also has uh, over some things. You can see now he's got the little sort of haze. He's invisible now, and we as a spectator can see him. But uh, when he gets close to... Uh, engine's base I can switch to this and when he comes in there you'll see that he won't be visible even if he walked in there so the Aztec warrior is pushing in now he feels like he has enough to do some damage to villagers and not take enough damage from the turrets doing a bit of wiggling to try and dodge the arrows but uh, throughout this game's history and beta the arrows have got a lot more efficient uh, at actually being able to hit stuff and here we find the other priest now Adne's actually has he got some priests out now He's not quite got a uh, priest out yet. He's got the temple going. There's his first priest. So you can see they look very different to start off. And one thing, uh, as I was trying to say before action started happening, that makes this game different is that every faction's priest is very different. I mean, a lot of the factions are very different, but the priests are one of the most obvious places where, like uh, Age of Empires, everyone has a priest, but they don't all do the typical things. Although the typical sort of uh, Age of Empires priest is uh, available in the game. It's... Uh, to the Aztecs. So, this priest, the Shaolin monk, decent at fighting, can make um, striker is asking me if he can play next. Yes, he can. Um, Shaolin monks, as you can see, when they're standing still, they have this AOE around them. This green AOE is healing all these workers. Now, the reason that that's important is because uh, Chinese buildings, uh, the um, the storages and the TC can have an, have an ability on them called Overseer. And he puts on the Overseer ability. And as you can see, a load of these villagers are hurt, but they haven't been harassed that much right here. What's happening is the Overseer ability deals damage periodically to your workers to make them work faster. And the monks you can use as a counteract to this to heal them. Throwing down the second TC now. You can also see the watchful eye of the Aztec spies seeing this happening. Gonna just pop one of those villages to try and slow it down. Oh, but the villagers are actually gonna surround the spy. That wasn't the reaction he was uh, hoping for. He did manage to sneak it out though. That's actually very important. Having the Aztec spy is quite a powerful uh, addition. So what I was uh, gonna talk about as well with the um, Aztec spies, you'll probably see the Aztec spy running around here trying to pick up some of these relics. You can see he looks like he's going for one now. This is how Aztecs play. They get the early advantage uh, in map control because they can get these warriors out faster than anyone else and they can level them up faster than anyone else um, because obviously you need like military development too for most factions to get upgraded uh, infantry whereas for the Aztecs you can get that immediately just by killing some deer and some boar here and there and then they use that map control to have their priests go around and collect relics for them and the relics each give a buff um, there's just a list of buffs um, I don't believe you can get them up in... Um, I know you can. there's a button to get them up in when you're actually in game, but you can't get them here, and I don't have them written down anywhere because I'm awful at preparing for these things. But they do things like one of them is plus one damage, one of them is plus one, plus one armor. That's uh, basic armor and piercing armor, which is essentially ranged in melee armor. Um, then one gives, like I think, plus movement speed. One gives you a bit more gold income. And some of these are really powerful effects. Like armor in this game is pretty powerful, and so, and obviously a damage straight up damage buff is pretty powerful as well. So, getting all of these, being able to come out here and grab the the, the uh, relics that spawned on the enemy side first is quite a big advantage. Uh, Engine it seems hasn't managed to sneak out and grab one of them yet, and there's now quite a big amount of Aztec warriors coming in here, going to start harassing some of these villages off of these uh, farms. You see. Uh, Engine has some uh, crossbowmen here. The crossbowmen are going to try and snipe a priest. That's quite a dangerous move there. Didn't really work out. He doesn't have enough to uh, fight these Aztecs quite well yet. But they will move on. They did a lot of damage to these workers around here. And they don't want to be taking more damage for, for no reason. You can see some spearmen coming in here as well now. 
the Aztec priest also uh, they they have two abilities as well as just being useful because you need to grab relics. They heal. They don't have the AOE heal like Shaolin. They have direct heals. So right now you can see they're casting a healing on this guy, and then they'll start casting it on some of the next guys. They also have an ability, uh, an activatable ability, uh, which is a curse, and they can place it on a unit, and it will affect an AOE around the unit, and it is a move speed slow, an attack speed slow, and an armor reduction. So it's incredibly powerful. And you can't use two on one unit, but if you use them on units close to each other, the AOE of those curses can stack up to two times. So they are a pretty powerful unit, and they uh, are really one of the, the big strong things about uh, these armies. You can also see they have the skirms now. They have a couple of skirms down here. They have some archers going as well. And once again, they're going to push in and try and clear out some of these farms, because they know that uh, Adne knows that Engine can't really defend this uh, correctly yet. He is making a second archery range so he can start getting some more crossbowmen out. And the Chinese, their focus is really on crossbowmen. It's a general ranged thing. Nice garrison there to protect some of his workers. Um, so they have these crossbowmen, which can uh, be uh, leveled up once he gets advanced military development. Uh, he also can get uh, Chukunus, which is a special uh, Chinese crossbow. Uh, there's, there's a load of history about it that I'm sure uh, Gino can tell you a lot more about. But they fire faster, and they can be upgraded higher, and they cost a bit more, but in the late game, they uh, become eventually more powerful, although with a shorter range. And then you also get some other uh, bomb throwers and such, who are quite interesting. And flamethrowers. Engine loves to point out that there are flamethrowers that the Chinese can have. So this is really a big Aztec force now. This is the, the part of the game where Aztecs sort of have their power and need to make their their uh, themselves seen as you can see i believe uh gino has backed out now uh unfortunately there's a slight spectator bug that has been introduced with the latest patch where i do not see the victory screen but this is the power of the aztecs right here you get to this point you can start rolling over people and uh you really need to do something here because they don't have any siege so in the late game they can get quite unmatched so thank you for watching if you're new to Empires Apart. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed this and thought the game looks cool. I'm going to record some other videos now. And uh, if you're more into Empires Apart, I'm sorry for being such a tasteless, but, you know, it's got to be done. <laughs>